Diego Garcia, according to Southern Maldivian oral tradition, traders and fishermen were occasionally lost at sea and got stranded on one of the islands of the Chagos. Eventually, they were rescued and brought back home. Welcome to TIT TV. However, the different atolls of the Chagos have no individual names in the Maldivian oral tradition. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please subscribe now. Nothing is known of pre-European contact history of Diego Garcia. Speculations include visits during the Austronesian diaspora around 700 NA. As some say, the old Maldivian name for the islands originated from Malagasy. Arabs, who reached Lac Shadweep and Maldive around 900 and may have visited the Chagos. The uninhabited islands were discovered by the Portuguese navigator, explorer, and diplomat Pedro Mascaranhes in 1512, first named as Dom Garcia, in honor of his patron, Dom Garcia de Norna, when he was detached from the Portuguese India Armadas during his voyage of 1512-1513. Another Portuguese expedition with a Spanish explorer of Andalusian origin, Diego Garcia de Moguer, rediscovered the island in 1544 and named it after himself. Garcia de Moguer died the same year on the return trip to Portugal in the Indian Ocean, off the South African coast. The misnomer Diego could have been made unwittingly by the British ever since, as they copied the Portuguese maps. It is assumed by whom I thought that the island was named after one of its first two discoverers, the one by the name of Garcia, the other with name Diego. Also, a cacography of the saying Dio Gracias, thank God, is eligible for the attribution of the attribution of the atoll. Although the Cantino Planisphere, 1504, and the Ruish map, 1507, clearly delineate the Maldive Islands, giving them the same names, they do not show any islands to the south which can be identified as the Chagos Archipelago. The Sebastian Cabot map, Antwerp 1544, shows a number of islands to the south which may be the Mascarene Islands. The first map which identifies and names Los Chagos, in about the right position, was that of Pierre de Cilier's Dieppe 1550, although Diego Garcia is not named. An island called Don Garcia appears on the Theatrum Orbis Terrarum of Abraham Ortelius, Antwerp 1570, together with Dos Compagnos, slightly to the north. It may be the case that Don Garcia was named after Garcia de Nerona, although no evidence exists to support this. The island is also labeled Don Garcia on Mercator's Nova et Octa Orbis Terra Descriptio Ad Usum Navigatium Emendate, Duisburg 1569. However, on the Veritotius Expeditionis Nautici description of Jodacus Hondius, London 1589, Don Garcia mysteriously changes its name to I de Diogratia, while the Ia de Chagas appears close by. The first map to delineate the island under its present name, Diego Garcia, is the world map of Edward Wright, London 1599, possibly as a result of misreading Dio, or simply D, as Diego and Gratia, as Garcia, the Nova Totius Terrarum Orbis Geographica of Hendrik Hondius II, Antwerp 1630, repeats Wright's use of the name, which is then proliferated on all subsequent Dutch maps of the period and to the present day. Settlement of the Island Diego Garcia and the rest of the Chagos Islands were uninhabited until the late 18th century. In 1778, the French governor of Mauritius granted Monsieur Dupuit de la Faye, the island of Diego Garcia, and evidence exists of temporary French visits to collect coconuts and fish. Several Frenchmen living in a dozen huts abandoned Diego Garcia when the British East India Company attempted to establish a settlement there in April 1786. The supplies of the 275 settlers were overwhelmed by 250 survivors of the wreck of the British East Indian ship Atlas in May, and the colony failed in October. Following the departure of the British, the French colony of Mauritius began marooning lepers on the island, and in 1793, the French established a coconut plantation using slave labor, which exported tutu, cordage made from choir, coconut fiber, and sea cucumbers as a far eastern delicacy. Diego Garcia became a colony of the UK after the Napoleonic Wars as part of the Treaty of Paris, 1814, and from 1814 to 1965, it was administered from Mauritius. The main plantations were at East Point, the main settlement, many, many, 4.5 came, 2.8 mai, north of East Point and Point Marion, 
north of East Point and Point Marion, the western rim all on the lagoon side of the atoll. The workers lived at each and at villages scattered around the atoll. From 1881 until 1888, the atoll hosted two coaling stations for steamships crossing the Indian Ocean. In 1882, the French financed Mauritian-based Société Huillière de Diego et de Perros, the oil-making company of Diego and Perros consolidated all the plantations in the Chagos under its control. In 1914, the island was visited by the German light cruiser Sims Emden halfway through its commerce, raiding crews during the early months of World War I. In 1942, the British opened RAF station Diego Garcia and established an advanced flying boat unit at the East Point Plantation, staffed and equipped by NO. 205 and NO. 205 and non-C-140 squadrons, then stationed on sea lawn. Both Catalina and Sunderland aircraft were flown during the course of World War II in search of Japanese and German submarines and surface raiders. At Cannon Point 26, inch naval guns were installed by a Royal Marines detachment. In February 1942, the mission was to protect the small Royal Navy base and Royal Air Force Station located on the island from Japanese attack. Operation of the guns was later taken over by Mauritian and Indian coastal artillery troops. Following the conclusion of hostilities, the station was closed on 30 April 1946. In 1962, the Chagos Agalega Company of the British colony of Seychelles purchased the Society Juliere de Diego et Perot and moved company headquarters to Seychelles. In the early 1960s, the UK was withdrawing its military presence from the Indian Ocean, not including the airfield at Rafgan to the north of Diego Garcia in the Maldives which remained open until 1976 and agreed to permit the United States to establish a naval communication station on one of its island territories there. The United States requested an unpopulated island belonging to the UK to avoid political difficulties with newly independent countries, and ultimately the UK and United States agreed that Diego Garcia was a suitable location. To accomplish the UK-US mutual defense strategy, in November 1965, the UK purchased the Chagos Archipelago, which includes Diego Garcia, from the then self-governing colony of Mauritius for three million to create the British Indian Ocean Territory, via, with the intent of ultimately closing the plantations to provide the uninhabited British territory from which the United States would conduct its military activities in the region. To the United States, Diego Garcia was a prime territory for setting up a foreign military base. According to Stuart Barber, a civilian working for the U.S. Navy at the Pentagon, Diego Garcia was located far away from any potential threats. It was low in a native population, and it was an island that was not sought after by other countries as it lacked economic interest. To Barber, Diego Garcia and other acquired islands would play a key role in maintaining its dominance. Here, Barber designed the strategic island concept, where the U.S. would obtain as many less populated islands as possible for military purposes. According to Barber, this was the only way to ensure security for a foreign base. Diego Garcia is often referred to as often referred to as Fantasy Island for its seclusion. The key component in obtaining Diego Garcia was the perceived lack of a native population on the island. Uninhabited until the late 18th century, Diego Garcia had no indigenous population. Its only inhabitants were European overseers who managed the coconut plantations for their absentee landowners and contract workers, mostly of African, Indian, and Malay ancestry, known as Chagossians, who had lived and worked on the plantations for several generations. Prior to setting up a military base, the United States government was informed by the British government, which owned the island, that Diego Garcia had a population of hundreds. The eventual number of Chagossians numbered around 1,000, I hope you guys enjoy this video to please make sure like and subscribe my channel so you never miss any video from TIT TV.